want to know, when you become president, would you be committing to close the immigration detention centers? Absolutely, on day one. On day one. Kamala Harris is currently making her transition from far radical leftist to centrist, possibly even conservative, right? So every single policy, every single stance she had in the past is now being gaslit, is now being drained away and replaced with something that would actually sound like a pretty good leader. And of course, she's doing this because there's no way she would be elected otherwise. She was less popular than Joe Biden and Donald Trump had Joe Biden beat hands down. And speaking of which, this whole change had to take place place because everyone could now come out and acknowledge that yes, Joe Biden was going to lose in a big way. And that's why I want to start with Jon Stewart making this big admission while trying, of course, to belittle Donald Trump. Check this out. He is in pain right now. Multiple sources tell The Washington Post Trump has grown increasingly upset about Harris's surging poll numbers. The Trump is, quote, complaining relentlessly. Posting multiple times on social media, clearly frustrated with Biden's decision to step aside, saying, quote, now we have to start all over again. <laughs> Not fair! Jesus! A month ago, he was basically already the president. He had cheated death, started a new ear accessory trend. <laughs> Back then, people thought his VP selection was a smart choice. <laughs> he had it all in the bag, and it was taken away. He was perfect on the beam. He nailed the dismount. He was walking to the podium to get his medal, and <laughs> Romania files an inquiry at the last minute. <laughs> right at the last minute. Ugh. And they're just stealing it from him. And by the way, Romania, file all you want. You're not getting that medal back. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, we have an inquiry. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> but now, instead of enjoying the fruit of six years of Biden attacks, Trump's got to start all over again. So yes, buried in there is the admission that Joe Biden has been awful for four years, just ruining the Democrat brand, ruining his own presidency, and of course, ruining this nation. Okay, so yes, Trump does have to basically start all over again because a lot of people who are not in the know, who have not been following conservative media, have no clue as to how bad Kamala Harris actually is. And that's why she has to rebrand herself from being the far left progressive to being the centrist, moderate, possibly even conservative candidate as opposed to Donald Trump. But of course, she hasn't put out any of her stances publicly for everyone to see, as opposed to Donald Trump. If you come over here to Trump's website, he has his 20 big goals laid out plain for everyone to see, as opposed to Kamala, who comes out piecemeal and says one thing that contradicts another thing she said a few years ago, which of course means you don't know what to believe whenever it comes to her. And that, of course, is something I would urge Donald Trump to do. He has to put out new attack ads and basically just show Kamala Harris's statements then versus Kamala Harris's statements now. And of course, the main thing to really point out is all of these new stances you're taking on these policies, like trying to be hawkish on the border, right? By trying to say, oh, we're gonna have world peace, we're gonna lower housing prices, we're gonna stop inflation. All you have to do is say basically, hey, you had four years. Why didn't you do that at all? Why have you not been trying to accomplish all of those goals over the last four years, instead of trying to apply for open borders, Medicaid for all, defunding police, right? Instead of trying to do all that crazy leftist stuff, why were you not focusing on making this country better? Dare I say, great again. <laughs> so recently, of course, Donald Trump had his ex interview with Elon Musk, where he basically has this nice, simple conversation restating everything he's basically said in the past. And millions of people tuned in. Last I heard, it was up to close to a billion views when you combine everything off of X and YouTube and replays, etc. Okay, so Donald Trump is getting his message out there in a very effective way, as pointed out here by Charlemagne the God. It was kind of a bit of a snooze fest for me, but you know, he definitely uh, covered a lot in regards to that. I mean, I, on the I, you know, so interesting. I didn't think it was a snooze fest at all. Like I, I, I listened to about, I only listened to about 30 minutes of the conversation. Um, and in those 30 <laughs> minutes, I heard them talk about the border extensively. Yep. And I heard them talk about the economy extensively. And that is why Trump resonates with so many people because he's speaking to 
the issues. And those are the two major issues. Folks don't care about all the other stuff as long as what they care about is being addressed. People want to know how they're going to have more money in their pocket mm -hmm. and how they're going to feel safe. Well, that's what his base cares about, right? That's, 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 what, Mary, that's what everybody cares about. When, you have, when you're having a conversation, you're talking about light bills being lower. Mm -hmm. and exactly. That's what Americans care about, right? We want to have lower costs of living. We want to have safe communities. Everything that Donald Trump stands for and everything that Kamala Harris has been against, okay? <laughs> However, of course, with Kamala Harris supposedly surging in the polls, we have to understand that polls on the left are made to try to sway your opinion, not reflect it. And that, of course, means that whenever we have these elections, like in 2016, Donald Trump does markedly better than all of the polls show. And in 2020, even, Donald Trump did a lot better than a lot of the polls show. And this can be pointed out now over on CNN. Surge in enthusiasm for Kamala Harris's presidential campaign has translated to higher polling numbers. But our senior data reporter, Harry Enton, is here to remind us it is still way too soon to count the other candidate, Donald Trump, out. Uh, we're just under three months to yes. the election. How much does enthusiasm predict what's going to happen at yeah. the polls? Yeah, right, exactly. I mean, the thing that we put out those poll numbers yesterday, you know, New York Times, Siena College, we covered them. I showed you the Ipsos polling, all of which that showed Kamala Harris with clear momentum, enthusiasm potentially on her side. But I just want to take a step back and sort of point out, we've kind of been here before. Mm -hmm. So August 13th, how far were the polls off in Michigan, Pennsylvania, in Wisconsin? And this is in 2016 and 2020. Trump was estimated both times around and by significant margins. Take a look here, in 2016, the average poll in those states that I mentioned, those Great Lake battleground states, Trump was underestimated by nine points on average at this point mm. in 2016. How about 2020? It wasn't a one-off. Look at this. He was underestimated by five points on average. And of course, Kamala Harris's advantage in those New York Times, Siena College polls were four points in each of these key battleground states, Michigan, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin. The bottom line is this. If you have any idea, if you're a Kamala Harris fan and you want to rip open the champagne bottle, pop that cork, do not do it. Donald Trump is very much in this race. If we have a polling shift like we've seen in prior years from now until the final result, Donald Trump would actually win. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but I am saying that he is very much in this ball game based upon where he is right now and compare that to where he was in prior years. That about sums it up. Consistent polling from the left that always downplays Donald Trump support or possibly the shy Trump voter is still a thing because people who live in these leftist areas, these leftist cities and states, are they going to go out there and fly the Trump flag? Are they going to have the Trump sides in their front yard? Are they going to say, hey, I'm a Donald Trump supporter? No, because the left, this crazy, insane mob is going to come after you and try to ruin your life and livelihood. And that, of course, is why Donald Trump consistently does better than the polls actually show, despite, of course, not all polls showing that Donald Trump is losing. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, and stay safe out there, people, because they're coming after you.